Welcome to this Udemy course about becoming an automation expert for the Unreal Engine. Every job and sector has tasks that take up a significant amount of your day. Having skills in automation can help you reduce your workload and give you an advantage for your job. It's a skill high in demand, especially for jobs that demand high pipeline and workflow automations like working in 3D real-time and games engineering. For example, looking at some numbers from Epic about the growth of the Unreal Engine and jobs related to the Unreal Engine, we can see that there is an ever-growing demand for professionals, both in the 3D artist area and in the programming section. In the coming years, the Unreal Engine will get even more exposure and workflows and workloads will improve, again increasing the demand for people that are able to automate processes in order to simplify the ever-growing complexity of projects. Let's look at an example of a tool that is sold in the Unreal Store to display the potential of such tooling. For the past two years, for every month, this tool has been generating around $100 to $200. Especially considering that the tool is built from scripts that are now part of this course. So by the end of this course, you should be able to come up with your own tools and sell them in the Unreal Store. Many of the scripts covered in this course will show you the importance of knowing what the users need. In order to create these scripts, we will take advantage of three different toolings. The first one is Blueprints. Unreal Engine provides its own graphical programming language for users to create scripts for automation and even game logic. In addition to that, we will show you how to use Python, one of the de facto standards for process automation, to create the exact same scripts we can do with Blueprints or C++. If you're already familiar with programming C++ in the Unreal Engine, you can use that to automate the editor instead of using Python or Blueprints. A short section about speed comparison will show you that there is no big difference between the three approaches we will display here. Even though C++ is normally much more performant as shown in this little graph about performance comparisons. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right in and set up our environment to create our very first script to automate the Unreal Engine.